So two goals tonight from Sean Acoli, and the first one set up thanks to a tackle in the box that resulted in a penalty kick. Yes, he fought it strong in there and got tackled from behind and mauled. Once again, his shoulder. Earlier, he got muscled off the ball. This time, he took it, won the, won the penalty kick. So the low penalty kick, second PK goal in three weeks here at Nippert Stadium for Sean Acoli. His sixth goal of the season at the time made it 1-0. That Thanks. is second goal on a pretty play, made it 2 Good combination play. Ball played out. Eric smashes it across, and then Coley buries it inside. McLaughlin, Johnson, cross, buries it. First close. assist of the season for Eric Stevens. Steven. And now seven goals this year for Sean Acoli. Mitch Hildebrand was challenged a few times and came up with a save of the match for Hildebrand right there. Mitch is just brilliant on that. Here's, here's the goal. I think it was a product of some fatigue. Players trying to get back, and it was a good shot by the by the uh, Kasher, yeah. Kasher. Great so shot. Kasher makes it two to one, but FC Cincinnati able to hold on for the victory. Ugo Acoli signing autographs for FC Cincinnati. Now four one and two here on their home pitch, and seven two and three on the season. Once again, our final score from Nippert Stadium is FC Cincinnati two, FC Montreal one. Our next broadcast of USL Soccer on WSDR and ESPN 1530 comes your way next Saturday, June 18th, when FC Cincinnati welcomes Toronto FC 2 to the pitch. The action begins at 7 p.m.